friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend and thank you all for the support for this channel. I appreciate you being here. So today I was just wanting to share with you this super fun Valentine's Day t-shirt. So this is with a glitter iron-on. It's actually one of my favorite glitter iron-ons. It's pretty thick. This is what it looks like. It comes from Amazon. I can't remember the name of it, but I will go through my history, find it, and attach it. And it's a really thick iron-on, and I love it. Like, I've been using it for a long time. I really like it a lot. So the sweatshirt, I got this from Target. It was $10, so I actually got it in like the loungewear section, but I wanted it to be, um, you know, more of a sweatshirt just because it's February and it's still cool. But I like this because in Florida, it's, you know, not super cold, so it's pretty thin and I like this kind of like worn look. To it it's really soft so I got this at Target for $10 you can of course use anything that you want and you know one of the fun things about having a Cricut is being able to really just do whatever you want like if you have something that you'd like to have especially for like holidays and stuff like that it's so easy to just make what you want or what your kids want or your friends or your family and it's you know it's really nice to be able to do so so i thought that this was adorable and um my dog is my valentine she is my dog's name is chloe and she's 13 years old she's a wheaton and you know wheatons don't have a really long lifespan they tend to be 10 to 12 years and she's 13 years old you know, she's very slow getting around these days, but she's still happy and, you know, healthy for her age. So I adore her. And yeah, so she's my Valentine. And I don't even think Scott will mind very much. So, all right. Well, listen, I will show you what I did to put this together. All right, friends. All right, so I'm using a font that's called Lemonade Bold, and I really like this font a lot, especially for t-shirts that are being done with like a quote on them. And I got this font on defont.com. If you are having a hard time uploading to your mobile device, I do have a video on it because it took me a while to actually figure out how to get it onto my mobile device. It's a lot easier on your computer, but I do know there's some people that only use a mobile device. So it's Lemonade Bold. And then I went in and made it the size that I wanted, which was about nine. So what I do, for those of you who are new, let me actually make this a little bit smaller. So for those of you who are new at using your Cricut, now I pulled this off of Pinterest years ago. So this is actually just a trivet from Dollar Tree. And I use this to put my regular iron on because my heat press and my heat press mini both have their own little cases to sit on. So I got this and what I did was just go in and Mod Podge these directions on the back of it so I could see it. And it goes through and it tells me, so like for an adult shirt, small to large, I want it to be nine to nine and a half inches. And then I want to put my design three to three and a half inches below the neckline. So these are very easy to find and print. And it's, you know, something kind of handy to have. And this is how I chose to keep mine. It works out really well for me. All right. And then also I'm going to be using my strong grip mat for this. The reason I like to use my strong grip mat is because this vinyl is really pretty thick and it pulls up easily. 
So even on a brand new green mat, it just doesn't hold down nearly as well and I'm constantly having to tape it. So I like to use my strong grip mat for this and you can see it holds it down just really, really nicely. There's nothing worse than having your vinyl come up while it's cutting and then it starts moving around and you lose your piece. So we don't want that. All right, so I am going to, over on my iPad, I'm just going to hit continue. And then it's going to ask me to select an accessory. For me, it is my maker, so I'm going to hit that. And then it's going to come up and it's going to ask me what type of material I'm cutting. So I am doing glitter iron on. Now I have it saved in my favorites. If you don't, then you would go to all products and go in and find it. So there we go. We're ready to go. And now I'm going to hit my C and I'm going to put you on fast mode. All right, so now I don't like to waste any materials if I can help it. But I know that this has covered the majority of this. I'm going to just turn on my bright pad and let me see. I don't have much I can cut off. But I can cut this piece off here and use it for another day. All right, turn that off because I know it's kind of hard to see when that's on. All right, so now I am just going to weed my design. Now, the one thing that's really nice with iron-on is that it really is pretty easy to weed. So anybody who's tried to weed just regular glitter vinyl, you know it is such a headache. It's beautiful, but trying to, to weed it is sometimes a really big headache. But the nice thing with iron-on, because it's quite a bit stiffer and not only that because it's sticking to the paper that's why reverse weeding does help with um, the glitter vinyl so but the iron-on weeding is just so much easier and it's so quick and I love how quickly you can make something really, really fun. With your Cricut. All right, so I'm all done weeding. Now I'm gonna move you over to where I do my ironing and we'll put this on. All right, so. I am warmed up to 330, which is what I need for this vinyl. Now, what I like to do, I know that some people like to take t-shirt guides and measure and all of that stuff. I'm not about all of that. I take my piece and I put it in half. And then I iron it. Oh, sorry. And then... I iron my piece, give myself a nice little line in there, and then I open it up, and I have my center. All right, so 
now I know where my center is. And especially if you don't have a whole lot of room, this is nice. So I'm going to go about three inches. So I'm going to go about here. Now, my piece that I'm putting down, I take it and I fold it in half. But you need to make sure that you're when you're folding it in half, you're folding it in half from your words, not just C. Because there's a difference if I fold it in half from my letters, or if I would have folded it in half from there, it'd be different, right? So make sure that you fold it in half. And then you also want to make sure that when you're folding it in half to get your center, you're not you're doing non-sticky to non-sticky. You don't want to do sticky to sticky because if you do that, then what's going to happen is you're going to stick it to itself and ruin your decal. All right, so there's that. Now, I know that there are people who just really like to, you know, be super technical about where they put their designs and measure everything off. And I think that's amazing. I'm just not really one of those people. Now, if I were selling them or something, that would be different. But I do a really you know, decent job at eyeballing it. So I'm good with eyeballing it. So I've got my 30 seconds of pressure and I'm going to go again because I did have this side over here that didn't get it. Now, because I just ironed it, it makes my t-shirt material look a little bit dark, but that will go away. And I'm going to turn that off, let it start cooling. And I'm going to let this sit for just a second before I pull it up. That side is already set. I'm going to give this one just a minute. And there we go. Oh, that is so cute. So this will be my Valentine's shirt for this year. My dog is my Valentine. Super cute, super simple. I just totally dig how easy it is to just, you know, make your own t-shirts, your own sweatshirts for whatever it is that you would like it to say. All right. Well, listen, I hope that you guys like this video and I hope you um, find it helpful. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, friends. I would love to have you as a subby friend. I appreciate you so much and I'll see you later. Bye friends.